Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. I'm going through a DP2 Math Studies paper from 2017. It's paper 2 uh, for my DP2 students, but I hope we'll have some other viewers as well. Uh, this is question 6 we're looking at, and it's got a function here g of x equal to x cubed plus kx squared minus 15x plus 5. And the first thing we have to do is find g dash, so the first derivative. So we bring down those powers, take away 1, there's a k there, but that can still be included, minus 15. So there we go, that's 3x squared plus 2kx minus 15. The next question says, the tangent to the graph of y equal to g of x at x equal 2 is parallel to the line y equal to 21x. Now we know from GCC, if something is parallel, it has the same gradient, so that's going to have a gradient of 21, so that means our gradient function, g dash, must equal 21 at that point. So I'm going to put the gradient function that we just worked out, 3x squared plus 2kx minus 15 equal to 21. But they're saying this happens at the point when x is 2, so now I'm going to substitute in for my 2. minus 15 equal to 21 and we should show that k is 6 here so we kind of have an idea of where we're going 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4k and we move that 15 to that side is 36 and move that 12 to that side so 4k equals 2 and subtract that 12 from there and I'm skipping steps but at DP level we should be able to do this so k is equal to 6 as required Move back to the question there, so we've managed to show that and show that. Now it says find the equation of the tangent to the graph at x equal to 2 and give it in the form y equal to mx plus c. So we know when y equals mx plus c, we've now got a gradient of 21, we've got uh, x to be 2, and we've got to figure out whatever c is. What we should do now is go back to that original function, which I have drawn up here, and work out what y is. So I know I've got a bit of a mess here, so I'm just going to get rid of that line there. Remember, we've just found out that that is 6. So I can now say that g of 2 is 8 plus 24 minus 30 plus 5 so that's 32 minus 30 is 2 plus 5 so 2 plus 5 it's 7 so y here is going to be 7 so 7 equal to 21 times 2 so that's 42 plus c so c is going to equal 2 minus 35, if I've done my calculation correctly. So we know that y equal to 21x minus 35. That gets us a few more points in that paper. Then it says use your answers to part A, and the value of k to find the coordinates of the stationary points of the graph. Now, if you remember, stationary points are where that gradient equals 0. So let's go back to what that gradient function was, um, which we had over uh, there, 3x squared plus 2kx minus 15, but we now know that that k was 6, so it's going to be 12x, so we've got to put 3x squared plus 12x minus 15 equal to 0. So I'm going to just get rid of all that that I had before. Okay, and remember that the stationary points must equal 0. Divide through by 3x squared plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. I should be able to factorize this. Let's see if we can do that without using the formula. But this is a GDC paper. I mean, a DP paper where you can use a GDC. Um, I'm going to Imagine that because that's negative, 
Uh, they should be different, but that's positive, so the larger one should be positive, plus 5, minus 1, actually equal 1, or x should equal to minus 5. So those are my two stationary points there. Then the question says, find g dash of minus 1. So I'm going to go back to our gradient function and just plug minus 1 into that gradient function that we had. So I can get rid of all this, just keeping my gradient function. Don't know why I've chosen to do the mini whiteboard at an angle. Um, so 3 times minus 1 squared plus 12 times minus 1 minus 15. So that's 3 minus 12 minus 15. That's going to be minus 27 plus that 3 is going to be minus 24. And then it says, hence justify that g is a decreasing at x equal to minus 1. Well, because that gradient function is negative, it must be decreasing at x equal to minus 1. And the last point says, for one mark, is to find the y-coordinate of the local minimum. So for that local minimum, we're going to go to back to the stationary points. I remember when we worked them out, one of them was 1 and one was minus 5. So we're going to find uh, when x equal to minus x equal to 1, we're going to find the gradient of that. So we're going to plug that into the original function, because we want the y-coordinate now. So we're going to go back to that original function that we had there. So that's 1 plus 6 minus 15 plus 5. So that's going to be 7 minus 10. Should end up with minus 3. There we go. That's worth quite a few marks in paper too. 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. Add that all up right. 16 marks. There we go. That's DP2 Math Studies, paper 2, question 6 from 2017. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.